Welcome to Miss Lippert's Block One panel debate. Today you will learn about patriots and loyalists. Hi, today I'm going to introduce you to Benjamin Franklin. He was a respected patriot. He stopped the Sand Act and had many job jobs. He lived in the colony of Pennsylvania. One of Benjamin Franklin's quotes is, In this world nothing can be said to be certain except de death and taxes. Please welcome Benjamin Franklin. Greetings, <laughs> people. I'm Ben Franklin. I would have stayed a loyalist, but, but King George pushed it too far. I am a respected patriot and a politician. Today, I'm here to say that Great Britain needs to stop making unfair laws. I think that in this world, nothing can be certain except death and taxes. I also think that the colonists should govern themselves. Thank you for your respect. Now let, now let, now, now let make our co our colony respected. So tell me this, Benjamin. Why did you switch from a loyalist to a patriot? As I already said, um, I sw I wouldn't say a loyalist, but the king pushed it too far because of making so many unfair laws. He was our governor of Massachusetts. He enforced British laws like the Stamp Act. He believed that our British king, which is King George III, knows best for us, and therefore he thinks we should not become independent. Please welcome Thomas Hutchinson. Good afternoon, my fellow loyalists and patriots. I am Thomas Hutchinson. Agree with the King George III in saying that we should not become independent. Our British king is like God to us. Therefore, we should follow his commands. I enforce British laws like the Stamp Act. I am, therefore, I am the governor of Massachusetts. To live is to be loyal to King to King George the Third. <laughs> think us colonists don't deserve a say in our government. Our well, Britain's been around for a while, so I think our government is working just fine. The king thinks he knows what's best for the colonists, but there are three people who disagree. One of those people is a proper young lady. Instead of screaming and shouting, she speaks her mind with writing plays and poems. Put your hands together for Mercy Otis Warren. Oh, hi, I am Mercy Otis Warren. Let us have independence and liberty because of Great Britain's unfair laws and taxation without representation. Because because our families don't have enough money to pay for all of the goods with the taxes. A lot of families are also losing the, their jobs. Just give us independence and let us have our own stuff. Why did you think that women did not have enough strength to go on the battlefield? Women may have not had the strength to go on battlefields, but there needs to be someone at home to care of the kids in the house. Why do you think women should have the right to speak? Women should have the right to speak because the men, women might not have the strength as men on the battlefield, but women may um, be able to speak their minds out in public. Introducing John Murray, also known as Lord Dunmore. His occupation is the governor of Virginia and is leading British and is here to present a powerful speech and answer questions. Also representing his fellow loyalists to stay loyal to Britain. Hello, my name is John Murray, but you can call me Lord Dunmore. I'm here today to talk to you about independence. The, I'm here to represent the loyalists along with my fellow, my fellow loyalists, John Boucher and Thomas Hutchinson. Today here, I will fight in this debate. Of, I will fight in this debate about the American colonist freedom. I feel that no American should feel no American should be free, even though the government has some unfair laws. But the British started these colonies, and that means they should rule them. The British have provided the protection for the colonists, and they and they are trying to protect the colonists. But the colonists are complaining about a few laws. We could go into battle right now, and I can be killed. But that doesn't keep me from saying that my soul will haunt where I die, no matter who wins further independence. What if we, the colonists, created Great Britain? What would you think then? I think that the, con the colonists may create a somewhat good 
colony, but I think it won't be as good as Great Britain, correct? Great Britain making it because I feel that they have no experience with any government government ro rules or laws that can be said. He was a true patriot and a full-time politician. Started the Sons of Liberty and led the Boston Tea Party. He is a dramatic speaker. He set up the committees of correspondence, the one, the only Samuel Adams. <laughs> Greetings colonists. My name is Samuel Adams. I am here to fight my way to freedom. Many of you may think I'm crazy, but let me tell you this. Do we have the freedom to change unfair laws? Do we have the right to change unfair taxes? No. I am here to get us the freedom we deserve. Don't be a bystander. Speak up. We deserve our freedom. We shall fight for our rights. Thank you for your time today. Why did your enemies call you a troublemaker? Well, I think that it was their opinion. I'm just doing what I think is right for the colonies. Why do you think the colonists should be able to elect their own government? If the colonies elected their own governments, then that would be better for them because then they would be able to make their own laws because their governor would come from the colonies and they would know what's going on with them. Welcome Jonathan Boucher, who has preached in the Church of England. He is famous for his speech, Disobeying the King is like Disobeying God. Please welcome the amazing loyalist, Jonathan Boucher. I say fighting for independence will hurt my economy and make colonists poor. Colonists have a duty to obey British laws and to not become trail to us. I say these laws came from God and make life safer and better for most colonists. Why do you think King's power came from God? Because the position of the king is equal to God. Woo!